100 in their life. And this is their party pack container. And you can build a planter out of this, but if you want to build a five high planter, it'll cost you about 350 bucks for the EGs inside. <laughs> but if you do this often and save them, we can make components to put this all together. So we can buy these direct from the molder, or uh, because our company recycles a lot of EPS, we get these in from time to time to time, and it just dawned on me, why not take advantage of them and make something useful out of them? So I'm going to show you how we do it. Or, I did this yesterday, so this is all brand new, but it'll work. Anyway, the bucket and the lid both get used. The bucket needs holes in the bottom. There's two ways to do that. One, you can drill them, but a lot easier way is just to heat up a small metal rod and poke the holes in. The same is true with the lid. You can cut out the hole in the lid just with a pocket knife, a little bit smaller than this piece of three-quarter inch electrical conduit, which is available anywhere, and poke some holes in for drainage, and then this becomes the catch basin for the water on top. And I'll show you how that works. Take care not to poke your finger on the other side. Now I've already marked a good diameter on the bottom using one of the smaller rings and just tracing it with a pencil. And now I'll poke some holes in the bottom of the easy container. You want to stay slightly outside of that ring. Okay. The easy buckets and one lid to make a five high planter. You need these items. There's only three different components. This little guy, this big tall skinny thing, and this funny looking ring. And I'll show you how they go together. If you were putting your conduit in the ground, you would want to start your first uh, garden six or eight inches above the ground but if you're doing it in a greenhouse or a patio where you don't water going on the floor you would use just a simple five gallon bucket pour about four or five inches of concrete in the bottom stand the uh, piece of conduit up and start from there and that way the water doesn't go all over the place and you can retrieve it and recycle it and use it again and just take a picture of the inside of that bucket because I just used a piece of foam to replicate what it would start on. So, first things first, you get one of these here things. And then you get an easy bucket. And then you get one of these. And then you get one of those. <laughs> and then you get one of these. And then you get another EG's bucket.
then one of these little guys. You don't have to make them this tall. Four high is perfectly adequate. boys and girls. There you have a five high planter. And I suppose if we bought these and, and sold the stuff, it wouldn't cost too terribly much. I would think maybe uh, $40 less the uh, conduit and the bucket. But water, you would put your uh, water on a timer and it would dribble through the top, through all the medium, come out these holes, and each one feeds the next, and ultimately goes into the bucket or on the ground. But there's like things on the market, they're pretty expensive, but they only hold four plants. And this will easily hold six or eight plants. Let me grab a pretend plant, I'll show you. These cups are much bigger than any plant you would plant. There's five easily go in. I don't think six are even smaller. And you could have tomatoes or peppers and they would leaf out and just grow down and you could harvest like crazy. To me, it just makes a lot of sense. And it takes up um, the size of a garbage can or a five gallon bucket. So use a little re recirculating pump and once your plants are established, you can just put fertilizer in the basin that you're pumping out of, and it could be a garbage can, it could be, you know, half of a drum or anything you got that will hold water. And it just trickles down. And the pump only needs to run like five times a day for five minutes. And you've got a garden. What do you think?